Hi, welcome back to part two of Sewing 105 stitch settings. Stitch length. This is how long a stitch is. The longer the stitch, the looser the seam. The shorter the stitch, the tighter the seam. Default is usually 2.5 mm or 10 stitches per inch. Stitch width. This is how wide a stitch is. It is only available in sewing machines that do zigzag or other decorative stitches. The settings are usually millimeters. It can range from 1.6 mm to 7 mm. So let's jump into the video and see the details. Now if you have a knob like this that goes from 0 to 4 or 0 to 5, it means your stitch length settings are in millimeters and their default is 2.5. For more details, visit the website where I explain the math of this stitch length settings. Now for a digital machine, it's the same thing. If it's zero to four or zero to five, it's 2.5. If you have an older machine with a lever like this, it's stitches per inch. Um, 10 stitches per inch equals 2.5 millimeters approximately. When you get to the website, you see the whole math of how that works out. So for your default stitch is usually 10 on stitches per inch, but for millimeters is 2.5 mm. Let's move on. So if you have something like this, it has the preset stitches. There's no stitch width dial, there's no stitch length dial. You just turn the knob and you can see it in this little window. Let's zoom closer. This is how you change your stitches. You simply turn the knob, that's it. The, you can't adjust anything manually, it's just preset. So this is a very easy machine to use. I can pick a short stitch, a medium stitch, a long stitch, a short zigzag stitch, a wider zigzag stitch or a really wide long zigzag stitch or a thicker zigzag stitch and so on and so forth and that's all there is to it with this machine very easy if you have a computerized sewing machine like this yes everything is automatic already if you just want to you just put it on and you set some default just like this this is default straight stitch is already set on 2.5 length i don't have to touch anything the width is automatically zero though it doesn't show here but for a straight stitch, that's all it is. I don't have to touch anything, I just have to sew. This is your basic straight stitch. It's going to be a permanent stitch if you use it to sew. And of course, that means it should be firm and even. Here, I'm just going to try a basic zigzag stitch. Just a touch of a button, the machine just gives me the default. It's two mil length and five mil width. That's the default for this machine. Let's just see how that looks. So the issue of width settings, depending on how you adjust your width, and your length, you can change the shape of your zigzag stitches or your decorative stitches. So I'm just going to give you a few examples so you see what I mean. An average zigzag stitch. We can put it back. Now, let's change this to something else. Can make it higher or lower. I'm just going to take it to 2.5. That's as long as mine can go. And I'll take this down to the lowest. The lowest on my machine is 2 mil. So we're going to have a very long stitch or a very narrow stitch. Let's see what that looks like. And that is how that looks like. This is what I would normally use if I was sewing stretchy fabric. Let's try another variation. 
This time I'll make the stitch very wide. Mine goes up to six. And I'll go down a bit to, well, like after I go to zero, but I'll be really thick. So let's go up a bit to one, 1 1.2 and see how that goes. See, that's a more condensed stitch. It's wide, but it's really narrow. Now I have one more example. I showed you a basic straight stitch, but I haven't shown you a straight stitch that is really long. So we're just going to make the stitch length very long. This is a straight stitch with a long stitch length. Now that's a straight stitch, but with a long stitch length. Basically, it's something you use for gathers or just holding something temporarily together because it's loose, it's easy to pull out. Here you can see the first stitch on top is the default 2.5 mil. Next to that is the longer 5 mil stitch. And then we get to the zigzags. Let me flip this. The first stitch, the first zigzag is the normal one. We had 2 mil length and 5 mil width. We went lower, but we had 2.5 mil length and 1.2 width, so that was narrow. And after that, we went for 6 mil width and 2 mil length. Now, I just want to do a quick recap of this type of uh, stitch length liver if you have one. You know, it just goes up and down, but it's important that you know how to, you have to loosen that screw at the side when you're moving the lever up and down. Because this machine shows forward when the lever is down and it shows backwards when the lever is up. So you can see I'm tightening it. Once you've selected your stitch, all you have to do is push that knob up and tighten it. And that's it. So you go up, it's the same length. You go down, it's the same length. Now let's say I want to change it to 20. I loosen the screw, I set it at 20, push the screw as high as it goes, so it can't move anymore. You can see those metal plates in there moving. So you push the screw up as high as it can go, and then you tighten it again. And now to sew forward and in reverse in 20 SPI. So that's just how I use this lever if you have one. That brings us to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, to my new subscribers, thank you for joining. To anybody that is watching this that hasn't subscribed, please subscribe. You're, you're not going to be disappointed. I have a new video every week and it's an ongoing course. There's not going to be any lag. Anyway, the, um, there's no video next week. The next video is going to be after the new year on January 2nd. So I'll see you then. Happy festivities to everyone, season's greetings to everyone, and thank you so much for watching and joining this channel. Goodbye.